1%. That was very, very sharp. Um, in the late 80s to the early 90s, the decline was, was less overall, about a 25% drop, but it took five years to go peak to trough. This time around, the contraction was about 44%, and it took only three years for the market to go peak to trough. So that's one thing. It's been quicker on the way down. The other thing that um, uh, clearly uh, delineates this cycle or differentiates it from the others has been the behavior of housing prices. Look at the late 70s to the early 80s and kind of eyeball that black line. That is the median home price in California. And what happened to sales, they're down 61%, what happened to the statewide median home price? Well, the worst it did is it plateaued between 1981, 82, 83, and 84. It didn't go down. Uh, not so in the, in the mid-90s. We actually had six years during that decade where the statewide median home price declined, but the largest single decline was 4.8%. Right? It, it wasn't anywhere near uh, kind of the magnitude of, of what we've experienced. I never dreamed that we would see a statewide median home price drop by over 35% in one year, but in fact, that's exactly, uh, that's exactly what happened. So, uh, you know, for any economists in the room, um, we're seeing a market where we know that markets work. Get a dramatic decline in housing prices in this distressed part of the market, and look at the rebound in sales. One year alone, 26.7%. We're forecasting a 25% increase in sales this year. And as I indicated, the only thing constraining sales right now is lack of inventory. So when this second wave of foreclosures starts to be felt uh, in the second half of this year, uh, there's, a, there's a market for it. The reason this has been uh, doubly painful for our industry is that even though sales picked up last year, the dollar volume of sales still went down. Okay, so even though you had more transactions, it was kind of a net loss because prices had gone down. So we are not going to bottom in terms of dollar, uh, dollar volume until two years after sales bottom, right? Sales bottom in 07, the dollar volume of sales in the state are not going to bottom uh, are bottoming um, this year. So look at how sharp that V has been. This is statewide data uh, from the uh, end of 05 to um, the middle of uh, the fall of 07 and then back up again. If you look at 2009 year to date, sales are up 73% over, <clears throat> over the same period over the same period last year. Just really an unprecedented increase uh, in the number of transactions. January and February, the annual pace of sales was over 600,000. And that's uh, you know, an unbelievably strong market. That's a, a too hot, a too hot uh, market. At the same time, look at how odd the statewide median home price is. Um, I've described a market where uh, sales peaked uh, in, um, in 2004 and 2005. They dropped by over 20% in 06 and 07, and yet the statewide median price doesn't start to go down until the third quarter, fourth quarter of 2007. Well, what happened is something that um, I, I, ha I can't emphasize enough, and that is your national, state, and county, and regional data is not very useful for your clients. And they are coming to you because they want to know what's happening in this neighborhood, in this block, in this community. And that really is the, uh, the strength that the realtor will always be able to bring to the table because the uh, kind of signals given by a statewide median home price just belie the fact that you started to have prices decline dramatically in Sacramento in 2006 and 2000, 2005 and 6, and they didn't start to come down in, in the kind of higher end um, uh, uh, coastal areas uh, until two years later. So here's a, a graph or a chart that uh, attempts to kind of drive that point home. If you look at the third column, it gives you the median home price in the regions that we track at CAR. Um, 
in April of 09. And then what we've said is, okay, looking backwards, when was the prior peak in that particular region? So I wanna uh, pick on Sacramento, because uh, I don't think anyone here is from Sacramento. <laughs> so in April, the median is 167,000. The prior peak was August of 05, 394,000. So peak to trough, that market's off 57.6%. Uh, let's go down and look at Ventura County. Uh, April median 394, prior peak August 06, 710. So again, I'm just trying to make a point that this cycle has been syncopated, started at different places on the state depending on how much new construction, the median home, um, the median home price, the percentage of subprime borrowers, the percent of no uh, money down uh, borrowers, the percent of cash out refinancing uh, that had happened over the last uh, couple of years. Um, and now it's also a function of, of jobs and how, how um, at risk the, the jobs in the area have been. This is another way of, of understanding what, what happened uh, to the market when credit froze. Um, August 07 to August 06, year over year, the 500 and below market was off about 27%, the five to a million market was off 32.5%, and the million or more market was off 3.4. So Manhattan Beach, as an example, was doing fine, no problem. One month later, what happened? Credit freeze, can't get a jumbo loan, can't really get any loan, and in one month, the high end of the market was down 26.4%, and that's when you started to see the statewide median home price go down. So again, that's why regionalizing and localizing your data, there's a lot of tools available through the MLS, is really um, the key to, to working with clients. Um, in the summer of um, uh, 2007, 40% of the homes sold in California were 500,000 and below. Uh, today, it's over 80%. Um, in the summer of 2007, about 15% of the market was in the million or more category. Today, it's less than 5%. So that's how dramatically this market has kind of uh, whipsawed. Um, I'm giving you the California data, again, to drive my point home. Look at the NAR data for the US in April. Sales are down 2.8%. Prices are down 14.9%, <laughs> right? In California, sales are up over 70%, um, and prices are down over 30%. So again, a very different, uh, a very different picture. Here's just a look at the million or more market. This is data uh, provided by DataQuick, where they just go through the county recorder's office records. Uh, so you had a peak uh, in those sales of over 54,000 in 05, and in 2008, there were about 24. Thousand. So that's some of the pressure on the market. Um, another huge uh, pressure on the market right now is lack of inventory. In the last six to eight months, we've gone from about a 16 month supply of homes on the market to a 4.6 month supply of homes on the market. The long term average is about, like when the press will call and say, well, what's normal inventory? I say, well, about a six to seven month supply. That seems to be the balance where the, the power isn't just by, just an all buyer, all seller, it's kind of um, uh, balanced. But look at the differential in unsold inventory depending on price category. If you're in a million or more market, you've got almost a year and a half of inventory. <laughs> 17.2, this is a ratio of listings to sales in that category. The three to 500,000 is about 3.1, the five to 750, about 4.6, and 300 and below, about 2.5 month supply. So again, it's a very important for buyers and sellers to understand and communicate with their realtor what market they think they're operating in. Because <laughs> the strategies and the market conditions are very, very different. Uh, we went through um, some of the MLS data and just to show you again the variability um, throughout the state. Solano County is the leader, um, closely followed by Riverside, San Bernardino, and Kern County. Sacramento, in terms of the proportion of distressed sales,